Hello students, welcome you all once again. In this video, I am going to uh, discuss few questions that is MCQs or multiple choice questions from the chapter Carbonyl Compounds. Okay, be ready. Number one, the first question, identify aromatic ketone among the following. First one is acetone, benzophenone, third one, butane 2 ohm and fourth one is 1 pentanone students better you take a pen and paper and try to answer these questions on your own identify aromatic ketone among the following first one acetone second one benzophenone third one butane 2 ohm and fourth one is 1 pentanone among all these four, A, C and D are aliphatic compounds, whereas B is aromatic compound which consists of C double bond O group. That is, benzophenone is the right answer. You know its structure, C6H5, C double bond O, C6H5. So, the correct answer is students, benzophenone. Okay, next Second question, which of the following reagents can be used to prepare benzaldehyde from toluene? What is benzaldehyde? C6H5, CHO is benzaldehyde and from toluene. What is toluene? Methyl benzene, C6H5, CH3. So, here toluene will be oxidized to benzaldehyde. The question is, which of the following reagents can be used? A. Chromyl chloride in carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride. B. K2Cr2O7 in concentrated H2SO4. C. Alkaline KMnO4 and D. Concentrated HNO3. So, the oxidizing agent here that oxidizes toluene to benzaldehyde is Chromyl chloride in CS2 or CCl4. So, the correct answer is A. Next, third question. Aldol condensation is a characteristic reaction of dash. The four options given here are all the aldehydes. B. Only those aldehydes and ketones which contain alpha hydrogen atoms. C. Only those aldehydes and ketones which do not contain alpha hydrogen atom. And D, only aromatic aldehydes and ketones. So, while learning aldol condensation, we have learned that aldehydes and ketones which contain alpha hydrogen atoms only can involve in aldol condensation. So, the correct answer is here B. What is that B? Only those aldehydes and ketones which contain alpha hydrogen atoms. Next fourth question. Aldehydes can be distinguished from ketones using dash. So here distinguishing aldehydes and ketones. The options given are A. Schiff's reagent. B. Tollens reagent. C. Failing solution. And D. All the three above or all the above three. So, what is the answer students? So, all three can be used to distinguish aldehydes and ketones. Okay. So, D is the right answer. Next, fifth question. Which of the following test would show the presence of acetophenone in a mixture of acetophenone and propionaldehyde that means if in a test tube there is a mixture of acetophenone and propionaldehyde then how il will you identify acetophenone or how do you differentiate acetophenone and propionaldehyde the options given are bayer's reagent iodoform test lucas test and carbyl amine test. Okay. So, this we have learned in iodoform test. Okay. 
so what did we learn in ido forms uh, test students the aldehydes and ketones containing the specific group ch3 c double bond o react with iodine to form lo ppt which is called as ido form okay so here what are the two compounds present as a mixture acetophenone and propionaldehyde so acetophenone can be easily separated by doing ido form test so the correct answer is b that is ido form test next to sixth question when acetaldehyde reacts with hydrogen cyanide in weakly alkaline medium it forms so the reaction is acetaldehyde plus hydrogen cyanide write down ch3cho plus hcn gives rise to the options given are acetonitrile acetic acid acetaldehyde cyanohydrin and fourth one is acetamide okay so this also we have learned in the chemical properties so c is the correct answer acetaldehyde cyanohydrin is produced when acetaldehyde reacts with hcn okay next seventh question so c is the correct answer next seventh question which of the following is most reactive towards nucleophilic addition reactions okay again which of the following is most reactive towards nucleophilic addition reactions carefully listen to the options a ch3 co ch2 ch2 ch3 this is called as two pentanone second one b ch3 ch2 c double bond o ch2 ch3 this is three pentanone next c ch3 cho acetaldehyde d is hcho formaldehyde where did we learn Uh, this uh, topic students which of the following is most reactive towards nucleophilic addition reactions so in the in the options given we have three uh, two ketones and two aldehydes you know that the reactivity order among aldehydes and ketones is formaldehyde greater than acetaldehyde, uh, acetaldehyde or aldehydes greater than ketones okay again once again the reactivity order is formaldehyde greater than aldehydes greater than ketones now tell me the answer for this question got it so d is the right answer formaldehyde is most reactive towards nucleophilic addition reactions okay next eighth question the typical reactions of aldehydes and ketones are a nucleophilic substitution d nucleophilic addition c electrophilic substitution d electrophilic addition so the answer is b nucleophilic addition okay so aldehydes and ketones undergo nucleophilic addition reactions ninth one the structure for acetaldehyde semi carbazone is this we have learned in the reactions of aldehydes and ketones with ammonia and its derivatives so acetaldehyde semi carbazone is formed when acetaldehyde reacts with semi carbazide what is semi carbazide semi carbazide is it's nh2 c double bond o nh nh2 okay so when acetaldehyde reacts with the semi carbazide we get acetaldehyde semi carbazone so its structure is ch3 ch double bond n c double bond o nh nh2 so there we have seen that water molecule is being removed oxygen from acetaldehyde and two hydrogens from semi carbazide so among the options given below a is the right answer next 10th question a compound a on treatment with 2,4 dnp gives 
a yellow crystalline solid the compound a may be okay so here a compound a on reaction with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine gives a yellow crystalline solid what is a next options given are ch3 c double bond o ch2 ch3 that is 2 butanone b acetic acid c ch3 co and h2 acetamide d ethyl alcohol so among the four options a is 2 butanone as it is a ketone it undergoes the reaction with 2,4 DNP, thus producing a low crystalline solid. Okay, students, the correct answer is A, that is 2 butanone. Next question Which of the following reagents can be used to distinguish between acetaldehyde and acetone? A. Tollens reagent. B. Schiff's reagent. C. Failing solution and all the above. So, this is also like the question one repeated. Uh, so, here all the three reagent, re reagents that is A. Tollens reagent, B. Schiff's reagent, C. Failing solution and D. All the above. So, we can use all the three reagents to distinguish acetaldehyde and acetone. Okay. Next so, answer is D, all the above. Next, twelfth question. Benzoin condensation is given by. This is one of the named reactions. Benzoin condensation is given by. Options, all aliphatic aldehydes. B, all aliphatic ketones. C, only aromatic aldehydes. D, only aromatic ketones. So, if you remember benzoin condensation, then you can easily answer this question. So, which compounds give benzoin condensation students? Benzoin condensation is given by only aromatic aldehydes. So, we have seen benzoin condensation taking the example C6H5CHO. It is an example for aromatic aldehydes. Okay. So, the answer here is C. Third option is the right answer. Next. Then we have the question. A compound which gives a crystalline product with sodium bisulfate and reduces ammonical silver nitrate solution is. Again, I am repeating a compound which gives a crystalline product with sodium bisulfate, NaHSO3, and reduces ammonical silver nitrate solution is? I think the answer must be ringing in your ears. So, first what I do, I will give you the options. CH3, C double bond O, CH2, CH3. That is 2 butanone. Next, CH3, CH2, COOH, that is propanoic acid. C, CH3, CH2, CH2, OH, this is propyl alcohol or 1-propanol. Next, D, CH3, CH2, CHO, this is propanal. So, now tell me what is the right answer? Which gives a crystalline product with sodium bisulfate and reduces ammonical silver nitrate. I am so excited. Did you get the answer students? What is ammonical silver nitrate? Tollens reagent. Very good. This we have seen in the reducing properties of aldehydes. So, which gives a crystalline product with sodium bisulfate as well as Reduces ammonical silver nitrate. Only aldeh aldehydes can reduce ammonical silver nitrate. So, among all the four op options, the aldehyde is CH3, CH2, CHO. So, the right answer is D. Very good. Next. Next question we have. The reaction between benzaldehyde and acetic anhydride 
in the presence of sodium acetate is called this also you must be knowing the answer the reaction between benzaldehyde and acetic anhydride in the presence of sodium acetate i am giving you the options benzene condensation aldol condensation etard reaction and perkins reaction what is the answer it is d perkins reaction next 15th question rosenmans reaction is used in the preparation of rosenmans reaction used in the preparation of options aldehydes carbohydrates acids and esters so we have learned rosenmans reaction in synthesis of aldehydes alone okay so i have leaked the answer the answer is aldehydes so a is the correct answer students okay so have you enjoyed all these 15 questions so go back once again and uh, try to uh, mark the answers so first what you do once listen to the explanation note down all the answers so next what you do is so before i give the answer try to mark the correct answer so by that you will be learning all these mcqs easily okay thank you